Skopje U.S. Special Envoy James P. Rubin claimed on Wednesday that countries in the Western Balkan region have been pretty severely poisoned by Russian influence campaigns amid an increase in global disinformation. Rubin, head of the U.S. State Department Center for Global Interaction, went to North Macedonia on a tour that also included Montenegro and Albania. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced the appointment of 63-year-old senior diplomat Rubin last December, fearing that Russian disinformation campaigns are intensifying due to the war in Ukraine and Western support for Kiev. The main source of threat this part of world Russian-based disinformation, which is repeated often and acts as a hub through Serbian media platforms, which then repeated and publicized here in Western Balkans, Rubin told reporters Capital Skopje. I would say that has been pretty seriously poisoned mainly by Russian disinformation. Russian President Vladimir Putin thought he could take over the Ukrainian government and divide Europe. Rubin said it failed in all these aspects. But that doesn't mean that Russia won't continue to spread the poison of disinformation and division, designed to divide people, countries, societies from one another and create discord. Rubin said he was working in coordination with several European governments and European Union, and said West was re-getting to grips in fight against new threat. The GEC, a US federal government body, says it helps allied governments detect disinformation campaigns targeting their countries, providing analysis and research and technology support. The U.S. Embassy in North Macedonia said in a statement that Rubin also discussed the efforts of China and other malicious actors who spread disinformation to undermine democracy and national security around the world. At his final stop in Tirana, Albania, Rubin will attend meetings with U.S. ambassadors in the Western Balkans.